today we'll be having the discussion on the brain. In the brain will be de- will be having this the, in the sequence wise. External f- actually I will discuss the external features only. The, not the features for the functional neuroanatomy you should refer to the Visham Singh or other smell. Okay. So this is uh, your brain stem. Actually this is the left brain stem and this is the right brain stem. This is the posterior side or the posterior surface of the brain stem and this is the anterior surface of the brain stem. Uh, how should you recognize this is the posterior surface on the posterior surface we have the cerebellar peduncles. Um, by this cerebellar peduncles, the brain stem is actually attached to the cerebellum. Okay, and on the anterior side, we have the projections of the bones. Okay, <coughs> now do the right one. Uh, this is the, this is the left one. Okay, this is the left one. We will start from the upward to downward. Okay, this is your <coughs> actually this is the part of the basal nuclei. This is the corona radiata. This is the lentiform nucleus, and this is the internal capsule. The fibers which projects upward and uh, that goes into the cerebral cortex are the corona radiator. Okay, now come in on its anterior side. On the anterior side we have this projection, this is the anterior commissure. Okay, uh, this is the mammillary body. This is the mammillary body. This is the pons and this is the medulla. Okay, now come to the medial surface. On the medial surface we have this structure as a whole is called the third ventricle. In the brain, actually, we have the ventricles. Which, uh, ventricles are actually the spaces which contain the cerebrospinal fluid, and the cerebrospinal fluid actually transport in and out of these ventricles. So this is the third ventricle, and this third ventricle communicates with the fourth ventricle. This is the fourth ventricle by the aqueduct, which is called cerebral aqueduct. Okay, this structure, uh, which is uh, you know on um, just like a phonics type of thing, this is the choroid plexus. This choroid plexus actually produces the cerebrospinal fluid. Okay, this elevation is called the interthalamic adhesion. This is the thalamus, and by this interthalamic adhesion, the two thalami are actually adhered to one another. Cerebral okay. aqueduct. Yeah, cerebral aqueduct. The cerebral aqueduct. Third this ventricle. Is the, third. This is the fourth ventricle. Okay. Okay. This is the floor of the fourth ventricle, and by the floor, uh, the floor of the fourth ventricle forms the posterior side of the uh, cerebellum. We'll be having, inshallah, uh, in the coming time. Okay. On its uh, posterior side, <coughs> we have the two colliculus here, superior colliculus, inferior colliculus. Okay, now come to its uh, lateral side. <coughs> this is the, no, this is the, yeah, this is the lateral side. On its lateral side, we have the medulla, this is the pons, and this is the brain stem. Now come to the discussion of the cranial nerves. The cranial nerve 1 and 2 actually originates from the cortex and we will be discussing that uh, in, the cortex. in the cortex, inshallah. Okay, the third which is the oculomotor nerve, the oculomotor nerve actually projects from the superior colliculus, behind the superior colliculus, this is the superior colliculus, okay, here it projects the oculomotor okay. nerve, okay. The fourth nerve, which is the trochlear nerve, the trochlear nerve projects from the inferior colliculus, and it is the only cranial nerve that originates from the posterior side of the brainstem. You can see here, this is the trochlear nerve. Now come to the pons. In the pons, we have the origination of the this trigeminal nerve. This is the fifth cranial nerve. Okay, and, uh, and it comes on the uh, lateral side. We have here the pontomedullary junction. This is the ponti, this is the uh, pons, and this is the medulla. Medulla. We have the pontomedullary junction, and from the pontomedullary junction, three cranial nerve originates. And this is from medial to lateral side. This is the sixth cranial nerve. This is the seventh cranial nerve, and this is the eighth, eighth cranial nerve. Okay. The hypoglo- uh, eighth cranial nerve is the vestibular cochlear nerve. Okay. Now come to the medulla. On the medulla, we have. We, uh, we have the three cranial nerves originates from the lateral side and one cranial nerve which originates from the medial side of the pyramid and another three cranial nerve originates from the lateral side of the pyramid okay sorry olive the three cranial nerves originates from the lateral side of the olives the one is the ninth cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal glossopharyngeal nerve okay the tenth is the vagus nerve and the eleventh is the accessory nerve but remember that only the cranial part of the accessory nerve originates from here and from the, the o- spinal part olive, of accessory olive. yeah from the olive uh, from the olive the little side of the olive and the spinal part of the accessory nerve originates from the spinal cord and there it goes upwards and uh, it actually combines with the cranial part of the spinal nerve and it goes down into the spinal cord this is the pyramid and in the pyramid uh, from here we have the origination of the hypoglossal nerve the 12th cranial nerve. Okay, this was your all about the cranial nerves.
Okay, this was the middle side we have discussed it here. This is the okay. Then we discussed all about this uh, brainstem. Thank you.